Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel. You are watching my fall card series for 2022. So I'm going to be using this Tim Holtz stamp set called Crazy Cats, and I'm going to be creating a Halloween card for you. So I'm going to stamp out the kitty, one of the kitties, on my card base, and but first we're going to create the background. So this is a a spider web stencil that I actually created from a cut file on my silhouette cameo machine. There is stamp sets or yeah stamp sets out there that have spiders webs or stencils but at the time I think I made this like last year I didn't have that so I went ahead and made one myself and I'm just using the black soot distress ink and one of the a rabbit hole designs blending brushes to ink this spider web up and I would have probably used my oxide ink, but I could not find it. It was buried in a mess under my desk, so I opted to grab the mini ink cube because it, it works just as good. And getting all the detail in, and I end up putting the spider web in a few different corners, and you're going to see that here. You could definitely spray this stencil with some pixie spray or add some tape but I didn't need it to look super perfect there is the spider web there's some shadows it's that spooky but fun Halloween vibe I was going for and I don't want this stencil that I made to get super sticky um, because it's so detailed I just go in carefully and get it done and as you can see I'm adding a, a little bit more over here off to the edge and just creating the scene, setting the scene for the kitty and the Halloween card. These cats could be used for so many different things. They're fun, they're silly, they're crazy. They look a little scared, spooked, but they're fun. And yeah, their eyes are really fun. They could be like surprised or excited about anything. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the card base ready to stamp the cat. So I love this cat image because it's looking up to the spider's web and it's like his eyes were like, oh, what's happening? So you're going to see that I add a spider in here in a little bit. And when I was making this card, I honestly didn't know how I was going to do this. I was like, okay, I want the spider's webs. I want one of these cats. This cat's perfect because he's going to look up all like, uh, at the spider's web, but I'm like, do I just leave the spider's web? How do I add that spider in? I don't have a stamp set that is a spider. I I do have a stamp set that is a spider, actually. It's like one of the caffeinated critters from the rabbit hole designs that's a spider, but he's really big. But I needed a small spider, and I'm sure there's a stamp set out there that I could have used, but I didn't have it. So, what do I do? I will show you in a little bit, but as you can see, I'm just using my Spectrum Noir markers to color in this cat, and I chose to just do some grays, some light grays and dark grays, and keep it pretty simple. I wanted the cat to go with the black of the spider's webs as well, and you'll see that I add a little bit more pop of color here in the end, just to bring in some more colors of fall. And yeah, I'm really, really excited how this card turned out. And I love the spiders. Stay tuned. Who are these spiders? Using your supplies to bring your card or project to life. Yes. Yes, please. So some of my gray markers are getting to be pretty empty because I use them so often. So as you can see, I'm struggling to get the color on. Some of my Spectrum Noir markers are so old, like I've had them for like seven years and used them so much. So, yes. So now I just took a piece of scrap paper and the black pops of color from scrapbook.com and I'm just doodling a little spider because I had this idea in my head to create a spider shape with the pops of color and I didn't know if I could do it. So I did it on a scrap piece of paper. I liked how it looked, so I went to my card base. I added a spider on the spider web and another spider on the other spider web. And I just did a circle and three legs on each side to create that spider 
look and effect. And then I added a string so that the spider was like coming down off of the web. And yeah, so it doesn't look like a whole lot now. You kind of see that spider. But then I bring in the white pops of color, also from scrapbook.com, and I add in some eyes just to give the spiders a little bit more personality, make them stand out a little bit more. And I love how the pops of color bring that 3D effect in and also give the a glossy effect and have another element on the spider or on the card as well. So it really brings the spiders to life with a little pop of white for their eyes. And you could definitely make these a little bit bigger, but I really like how it turned out. And then I took that black soot distress ink and just sponged the outsides of the card base just to make it stand out a little bit more, add some interest. And then I go ahead and look at this card. How do I add the finishing touches? So I grabbed out my Dymo label maker and get the label Happy Halloween. And I love that this is an orange tape. Brings in one more color of fall and brings in that pop of color. Right now it's just white and gray and black. And that's awesome because it's a Halloween card. But it needed the finishing touches to make this card stand out and be complete. So just getting Happy Halloween punched out, and then I'll go ahead and cut a fishtail banner on the different sides and get this place down. And then I add a few more things. So just getting that label ready, creating like a little flag on the edges. And I love using the Dymo label maker because the letters pop up and it's kind of like embossing it's raised, you can touch it, you can feel it, but it's a different look. More of a vintage look and the colors are very vibrant and definitely stand out. So getting that down and then I will show you how I complete this card. I'm going to add one more spider and a few more touches. And oh yes, and I do mount the orange label onto some black paper, just some scraps that I had saved because I felt like I was going to lose it on the white and I really wanted it to stand out and pop and so I just trimmed it off and I just really love how the black matte makes the orange pop even more. And then I'm going to glue that down and get it into place. I'm using the Nouveau Deluxe glue, and I'll have all of the supplies linked down below in the description box if you are curious and want to know what supplies I'm using, or maybe grab a certain supply for your collection to start creating with. You can definitely find the supplies listed down below. So as you can see, I glued that sentiment down, and now I'm just adding one more spider in. I felt like there was something missing in this corner, and this cat looks super scared. And there's lots of spiders around and I love this spider because it's a little bit bigger and a little bit more detailed so added that spider web line in as well adding the eyes in and then I still felt like this card was missing something I didn't want to add too much more but I wanted to bring a little bit more of that orange in to the card so you're going to see me pull out another pops of color from scrapbook.com for that but I also added the clear pops of color over the eyes just to make the eyes of the kitty stand out and colored in his nose real quick and then after I finish the eyes here make it the glossy eyes like ah oh, crazy cat scared of the spiders and then here's the orange pops of color I added three little dots over and under the sentiment just to draw attention to the sentiment in a fun way and also adding that color in bringing some more orange into a card that has just mostly gray white and black so that is my card i love how the spider and the pops of color and the label shine and 
stand out on the card. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and make sure you have your notification bell turned on so you know when I upload next and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.